So I recently picked up the coolest pro spring from fellow YouTuber Reedy Coolest. I found them through C Squid Boxing. Shout out Carlo. Cutting some pool noodles for the shape of the bag. I actually got some wrong dimensioned pool noodles. If you buy online, make sure you double check the dimensions because there are surprisingly different sized pool noodles. Cut them up into pieces and still made it work. Going to attach it to this PVC pipe to make the entire bag. And that is the base. Not included in the clip is me making the little rings. And then I'm just going to tape it up. Here's me passing the coil for the first time. It fits onto 3 fourths inch pipes. Top is PVC, bottom is galvanized steel. And I picked all of this up at Home Depot. Now I'm attaching the hose clamps. The one I got is the one that you use with a screw. I got it because the one that Reedy Coolis uh, mentioned were out of stock. But those are butterfly hose clamps, which I feel like would work even easier because you don't need a screw or anything. Nice and fastened. I also put two five gallon water jugs on the bottom. The taping is so bad. I fixed it up later, but it's not in the video. And it's all set up. I also replaced the bottom half with another set of PVC just because I couldn't find the, a really good height for the, the metal. And that's why it's a little bit squeaky. I feel like if I mess with it more, I can fix it, but it doesn't really bother me too much. I wanted to see what it felt like getting hit in the face with it. You're not going to get injured, but it does give a nice little pop. Here's me testing out another reflex type of tool that I got from a company on Instagram. It's good, but the obvious downsides are it's very short. I'm not going to be fighting children, and you can't really punch it at full capacity, obviously, because it's not really built for that. Now here's me hitting the bag all assembled and fastened. You can immediately hear the difference. It's a very nice pop, and you can put a lot of power into your shots. And as you can see, it's uh, you have to be very alert while you're hitting it. If you don't pay attention, you will get popped in the face. It's really impressive how it holds up and stays upright, even with all of these really hard shots. It has very good persistence, and when you're hitting it, you can feel just how well built it is. Bonus clip of me hitting it with some very nice power shots. I'm doing almost like a stress test here. Hit it with a few nice crosses, some nice power uh, hooks. A lot of people were commenting under Carlo's video wondering how a longer top half would perform. And so, as you can see, it's working really well. I did a bunch of testing and there is a difference when you use a taller versus a shorter top half. When you use a taller one like this, it's going to be getting very close to your face and it's going to be swinging by your ear a lot of the time. And with a shorter one, it's not going to, it's just not going to have that reach. I really like how you can adjust the heights of the upper and lower half. And using the hose clamps, you can decide how many coils you want active or inactive. And all of this alters the tension as well as the speed of the bag. Reedy Coolis also has a bunch of videos on his channel on more modifications you can make for this bag. I think he's doing a huge service to all of us who want to box at a gym, but because of right now circumstances, we can't. And so we're just trying to build a gym at home. So shout out to him again. If you like boxing type content, please subscribe. I'm going to be uploading more videos of me training, more reviews like this, and yeah. So thank you so much for watching.